the milk that you buy in the grocery store, do you really know where it comes where it comes from here in Connecticut? Well, I went to the source to find out what goes into farming local dairy with Heidi Harkoff from the New England Dairy and Food Council. Take a peek at this. So we're here on the Greenbacker Family Farm, and they're one of our many dairy farm families of Connecticut. And what I'd like to do is show you where your milk and cheese comes from, because believe it or not, the milk that you have here in Connecticut actually comes right here from our region. I think when most people think about buying local, they think about produce, but I want to share the exciting news about how their milk and cheese comes from our area. I am a 10th generation dairy farmer, and my family's been farming in central Connecticut in this area since the 1720s and I just love working with the animals. I love the cows. I love when people come and want to do tours and want to visit with the animals because I, I care for them. I love them like my pets. The milk that you purchase actually went from farm to fridge within 48 hours, and that is why it's such a wholesome, nutritious product because of how quickly it travels to your glass. In our farm, our cows are milked twice a day, so our day starts at two o'clock in the morning, and then the cows are milked again at two o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, we work with our veterinarians uh, very closely. They're on the farm at least once every four weeks. We have a nutritionist that actually comes up with a special diet just for our cows. So our cows eat a balanced diet every day. And the benefits of having dairy farms here in Connecticut is when we drive around our state, we all love the beautiful scenery of passing a gorgeous farm and having one in the background. And they're the people that really help keep our land open, which is so important to the quality of life within Connecticut. Our cows get regular pedicures. That's part of keeping their whole body healthy is to make sure that their feet and feet and legs are healthy and strong. So many people hear the word factory farm. As a matter of fact, 97% of the farms in the country are actually family owned and operated. And the Greenbackers Farm is an example of how almost all of our farms in Connecticut are family-run farms. This is Amaretto. She's a three-year-old brown Swiss cow. I actually own her with my mother, um, and she's um, very friendly, usually. Right now, she's busy eating um, the, the corn and hay and grain that we have for her. The next cow is named Supersonic. Um, she's a Holstein, an older Holstein, about five years old. Um, all the cows have individual tags. They all have names, but we go by computer records by their numbers. So that's why you'll see numbers in their ears. A cow like her, she'll milk out with a milking machine in four minutes, and we have 12 machines, so we can milk 12 cows at a time um, in four to six minutes on average. Um, Linguini is a Jersey cow, so she's gonna make a little, she's probably gonna make, her breed would make around six gallons of milk a day. Um, our Holsteins, the black and white ones, those can average 10 gallons of milk a day. Now I can say I've milked a cow. Yep, that's right. This that's on it. some people's bucket Put list. Put that on my bucket list. Indeed. Right <laughs>